Good morning guys, welcome to day 12 of our UK travel tour. Today's last day of Centre Parks, we're going home! We're not going home, we're actually going into London, but we're leaving Centre Parks all packed up. The apartment, villa, lodge, whatever you want to call it, is all clean and we are going on our next portion of the trip. Um, crazy granddad's in the car, we need to return the bikes and then we're going to go for breakfast. Cafe Rouge, I'm starving now, not quite sure what I'm going to have yet. Either the sourdough toast with eggs or the cooked breakfast. Come on guys, let's go, we're heading to London. So we've just come to Cafe Rouge for breakfast. The breakfast menu looks amazing. We've got the grand day breakfast, or the Rouge breakfast, and then lots and lots and lots of choices. Pancakes, and then get something lighter like pastry or fruit salad. Brunch isn't being served yet because it's only quarter past ten. And uh, kids' breakfast. So hungry. Breakfast has arrived. I've started eating before vlogging. Great poached eggs. David's got scrambled. Granddad's got fried. Harry's got great looking pancakes. And we've got fruit salad. So we just had breakfast. How was that? Good. How were like? Um, it was really, really yummy. I'm so full now. I could have a quick nap in the car. So that's it for our Centre Parks break. It's all finished. You had a good time? Yeah. What was your favourite bit? Uh, I did like the aerial adventure. The aerial adventure was cool, wasn't it? And then yeah. you did play the pool, yeah. the climbing. Yeah, rock climbing and the rock climbing. And the swimming. Yeah. Um, kayaking as well. Kayaking as well, yeah, we've done lots of fun things on this trip. Yeah. It's been awesome. Table Don't tennis. want to go oh yeah, and table tennis. Don't really want to go. We're not going home. We're heading into London. Then we're going home. Then we're going home. I'm getting tired now. We've still got three more days of activities ahead of us. And then it's back to reality. But let's enjoy these next three days. What are you looking forward to next? Maybe Madden Two Swords. Got Madden Two Swords at the Tower of London and the London Eye, so that'll but all be really cool. London Eye's really big, isn't it? The journey looks like it's about three hours into London now. Really? It's been changing, so there must be some traffic or roadworks on the road. Three hours? Yeah, three hours. So let's see how it is when we get there. So, hi. Cut to future self. Obviously, not on the road to London currently. We had to come home, we had to bail. Those few sniffles that I mentioned at the end of the last vlog. We wanted to check them out before we went to London. So David ran to a pharmacy in Warminster, which is the town just outside Centre Parks, and we got some lateral flow tests. And we were all positive for COVID. Um, Emily and I, uh, swab came up instantly. David took a little while to process because I think he got infected probably a day later than we did. Crazy Granddad wasn't um, COVID positive, which is amazing. So we came straight home, we had a seven hour car journey home, and we came straight home. I'm so glad we did it. I'm so glad we tested to make sure that we were trying to stay safe. At Centre Parks, indoor areas, we were wearing masks all the time. I just, I'm glad we did it. I'm really, really grateful that we stopped and made that decision before we then travelled into London and spread COVID to everybody else. So we didn't make it to London for the end of our UK road trip, but we have booked to go again. So we have booked pretty much all the activities again. Um, and that is what you're going to be seeing. So cut to future me and travel day. If you are leaving the train here, mind the gap between the train and platform edge. Manchester Piccadilly train station. We are now at Manchester Piccadilly and we are on our travel day. Yay! We are heading to London Euston, aren't we? Go on the train. Yeah, we are. So we are heading on our weekend break to London Euston. Um, we're picking up where we left off from our UK summer tour. The train has just pulled in, we're gonna get going. Now finally, we had a little bit.
bit of drama picking up our tickets. Um, we've got tickets for the way out and on the way back, but on the way back, the seat said we are bringing bikes with us. We've got to cycle home. We've got to cycle home, apparently, yeah. We wanted four bikes off us. The strangest thing ever, so we need to sort our seats for um, the return journey when we get to London. We did get time for a Starbucks though, so we are finally moving. Oh, got lunch as well. How long's the journey? Two hours. Apparently, high speed train, two hours, so not too long <laughs> until we get there. I'm loving that. Hitting like hypnosis while these trains whizzing by. Oh, yeah. Crazy yeah. It's a bit hot. It's very hot. Yeah. Might strip off. <laughs> Emily is covering herself up with a mask currently. So we will probably see you in London. Or pick you time. Train. It was a little bit delayed coming into London Euston just because there was a broken down train on the line. Quite sorry, it's very noisy around here. Quite a comfortable journey, really, except it was very, very hot in our cabin. The aircon didn't seem to be working. I like the heat, but that was extreme. So it made us all feel a little bit groggy. David and Emily suffer a bit from motion sickness anyway on those sorts of journeys. But we are here in London, relatively easy. I'm gonna go and try and sort our seats out for the return journey now save the hassle on Sunday so then it's a couple of tube rides to get to the Premier Inn In Southwark. Um, navigated the underground with great efficiency and ease. Mm. You're laughing at me. No, no, it was fine. No, we were all good. We were all, we were all good. Tapped and went. Um, Harry quite lo likes the underground, don't you? We're all like little worker ants. It's, it's a very strange um, thing if you're not used to it. Sorry, Harry's just about to crack a can of Coke. <laughs> Open a bit. No, not a bit. Um, having a cup of tea. There's a surprise. I'm going to head out. We have got uh, the London Eye booked for this evening and then we are heading to Las Iguanas for dinner. So obviously this is our finished UK tour, the end of the UK tour that we missed out on due to that thing that happened. Um, if you don't know what happened, go and watch the other vlogs. Actually, I'm not even sure if we've made a vlog of it yet. No. I'm um, going to have my cup of tea and then head on out. I'm not doing a room tour. It's a premiere in. The only thing I do want to show you is this. Mood light. How cool is that? that oh, purple like effect. It. It's like all neon. Oh, it's really cool. And that's as much as the room I'm showing you. So standard premiere in. Clean beds, clean sheets, clean towels, loads of plugs. I'm gonna go and have my brew. We've just come for a walk by the river before we go on the London Eye. I feel like a proper tourist, especially with the camera out. You like it? Yes. So it's probably about a 10-15 minute walk from our hotel, not really that far at all. No. Um, quite straightforward. Um, yeah, not far at all. But it's amazing. You're having a nice time. Yeah. What are you looking forward to seeing the most? Uh, Tower of London. Yeah, Tower of London tomorrow is going to be amazing. Is it tomorrow? Yeah, sorry. Well, let's um, have a walk around and we'll take you with us. We might stop for a drink. It's quite blustery and windy, so sorry for the noise. Um, we'll see what we can see. Well, we 
are just stood watching the London Eye. Wowzers. When you sit underneath it, it is epically high. I'm scared. Not at the minute. Give me a few more minutes. Are you scared? Uh, maybe. <laughs> You've done smiley, you can do it. This is scrub. It looks so much higher than you realise. Just in the queue for the London Eye, it is a mega, mega big queue. Huge! So I've just got on the park, that was relatively pain free and easy. All locked in, ready to go. There is a the camera. The crew's behind me. We've got to see. This view is cool. Hello and welcome to lovely.com London Eye. Are you ready to be part of London's skyline? Whilst you're enjoying the amazing views, the ride might stop briefly at times just to help other guests get on. This is Toasty North. Top. This is very, very Don't look down. Don't look down. Look down. I'm not sure on the camera how, how, how like, is it like high on the camera or small on the camera? That's what I want to know. It's very, very cool. <laughs> Just over there is where Boris lives. And then Lizzie lives over there. So we just got off the London Eye. How was that for you? Good. It was really good. There was lots and lots to see. So many sights. And what have you got now? So Harry's got a Merlin pot badge. A special. What, what is it? A London Eye pop badge. Yes, a spooky passport. Yeah, so Harry did the bit of a spooky trail thing and he got a free pop badge, which was quite cool. And we do collect them with Merlin. Yes. So we were on that for about 25 minutes. It seemed to go really, really quickly. I heard other people take about 40 minutes to like an hour sometimes. Wow. And ours was very super, super quick and it only took about 25, 20 to 25 minutes. Not even 25 minutes. Oh, yeah. an hour? No, it, did, it was very cool up there. Whether you'd need longer or not, I don't know. But it had some great sights, and it was sun just set. We saw Boris and Lizzie's house. Yeah. And now we're going to go for dinner. Hopefully, we'll see if we'll get in it early. We've got to reservation, having like taken an hour, and it obviously. Didn't. So we're going to go down to Las Iguanas and see if we can eat our dinner. Cause I am hungry, and I also want a margarita. a watermelon margarita and Emily's got a mocktail and it was two for one. Ooh. Coffee and a coke. Cheers! this now I had a fantastic meal everyone else yeah yeah I did yeah why do uh, you soon stop it when I want to twizzle that camera around I had a great meal at of Gardens. I had a um, beef burrito Harry had some fish fingers David had the peri peri chicken and then I had the chicken fajitas the food was great the drinks were great I had some fantastic cocktails and a lovely glass of wine um, service was a bit slow but I think it was really, really busy. The whole of that, I want to say embankment? Was it the embankment? South Bank. South yeah. Bank. Close enough. It's in London. I'm sorry. I don't know where I am. 
Um, Hull of South Bank was heaving. Um, the restaurant was super, super, super busy. So we didn't get um, attentive service, but it was fine. Really reasonable meal. So it's only £88 for the five of us. So that is fantastic. We all had drinks, we had mains. Why are you taking pictures? Nice life. <laughs> Uh, we all had mains. We didn't have desserts or anything. What are you doing? He's taking a picture. He's being weird. <gasps> Stop. Um, yeah, so it was £88 for the five of us, which is absolutely brilliant. We've stopped off at St. on the way home and picked up a couple of drinks. Emily has persuaded me to buy a of ice cream so we've got some Ben and Jerry's ice cream to share. We've got two spoons so it's going to be a fight um, and that is it for the end of today's vlog. I hope you have enjoyed coming along with us. The London Eye was really cool. I think it possibly needed to be a bit longer but then did it? I don't, I'm a bit, I'm, I don't know. I thought it maybe needed to be longer. They thought it was fine. Anyway, we didn't really pay for it so anyway. So if you've enjoyed today's vlog, don't forget to give us a big thumbs up. Leave any comments down below. Have you been on the London Eye? What did you think of it? Um, do you think it needs to be a lot longer? Do you think it needs to be slower? Anyway, leave some comments down below. Don't forget to ding that bell for notifications. And I'll see you again in the next one. Bye!